Hey everyone, it's Todd from Sideshow Effects once again. And in today's video, I'm going to run through the installation process for our Ableton Live MIDI controller pack for Stream Deck devices. So one of the first things we're going to do, we have to hop onto the web and download a small piece of software that's going to help us align our ports. Now if you've installed one of our other packs in the MIDI controller series, you likely have already gone through the process of downloading Loop MIDI and assigning the ports. You can skip this part if you've already done it. They use the same ports. So opening up your browser of choice, you're going to navigate to this address and the link will be in the description below and it's also here on the screen for you. Make it easy for you to just hop over to it. And you're going to download this piece of software called Loop MIDI. So you just hit the download Loop MIDI and then we're going to double click the Loop MIDI setup. And we want to make sure that the auto start Loop MIDI when logging in is selected. Very important, you got to make sure that this uh, always will load up when you restart your computer and that way you don't ever have to worry about aligning the ports every time. And then we'll agree to the license terms, we'll install. Once that's done we're going to launch. So once we've launched, we get this dialog box here. We're going to assign some new ports. So I'll click on the new port name. We're going to overwrite this. And the first one we're going to enter is Mackie to DAW. And it's case sensitive. So it's capital M and capital D. It's Mackie to DAW. And then we hit the plus sign. We've added that port. Do the same thing again. Daw to Mackie, hit the plus sign. Now we're going to add another. This will be Stream Deck to Daw Track. Once again, being aware of the case sensitivity, hit the plus sign. And one more. DAW track to Stream Deck. Hit the plus sign. And there you go, we have our four ports all set up. Now we can just set this off to the side and we're going to go to Stream Deck. And we need to install a plugin here. So we'll go to, we're in uh, Stream Deck version 5, so they have the new store here. We're going to click on plugins. In the search box here, we're going to type MIDI. And it'll be this plugin here that we want to install, MIDI by Trevor Ligas Bell. Say install. Just takes a second. And once that's installed, we can close out the store. Now the next thing we're going to do is launch Ableton Live. And we're going to hop over to Options, Preferences, right down here at the bottom. And on the left-hand pane, you'll see this tab here. We're interested in MIDI. In the MIDI section here, under Control Surface, we're going to pull down and we're going to select Mackie Control. For the input, we'll select Mackie to DAW. And the output, DAW to Mackie. Now in the next Control Surface slot, we're going to select Advance. And in the input will be Stream Deck to DAW Track. And for the output, DAW Track to Stream Deck. Now we have to select a few checkboxes here. So for the in DAW to Mackie, we'll select Track. And for the advance input, we'll select Track. And for the Mackie Control input, we'll also select Track. Now also for the Mackie control input, we want to select remote. Now for our out, our out Mackie control output DAW to Mackie, we'll select track. And the out advance output DAW track to Stream Deck, we'll also select track. One more thing we need to do for the advance input, we need to select MPE. Now there is a screenshot of this on the PDF that was included in your download. You may find that handy to just compare it on your desktop to make sure you've got the correct boxes checked. 
So once, once we're done that, we can close that out. We're finished with Ableton for now. And we're going to open up the folder we downloaded from SideshowFX, our Ableton Live MIDI controller for Stream Deck pack. And we need to copy a folder from here. In this folder here, MIDI graphics, these are the graphics that are used to display the icons for the Stream Deck profile, for the MIDI controls of the Stream Deck profile. So when we open this up, there's a Mac and Windows folder. Obviously, we're going to go to the Windows folder here. And inside is a Trevliga spell folder. What this is, this holds all the graphics. We need to put this in a very specific place. Namely, your Documents folder. So you would click this entire Trevliga spell folder and drop it into the root of your Documents. You can drop it straight in there. I already have it there, so I won't do it right now. And we're finished with that part. Now the next thing we're going to do is install the Stream Deck profile itself. Now in our folder you can see we have a Stream Deck Profiles folder and we'll go into Windows and you'll see there are two profiles here. One uh, for the XL device and one for the regular 15 key device. So whichever device you're working with this is the one you're going to import. So when we go to our Stream Deck software click on the gear icon at the bottom here click import you'll navigate to your download folder and to the Stream Deck profiles and into Windows. And I'm on an Excel device, so this is the one I would import. I already have it imported, so I'll hop over to it. And once it's imported, this is what you'll see. Now you'll notice in the Stream Deck profiles folder of the download, there is another folder called to copy. What this folder is, it holds two more profiles. One for the XL and one for the 15 key. Now what these do is it will take the exact same profile that you just downloaded but put it into one folder. And I'll show you what that looks like. So here it is. It's the, When you import this, this is all you see. Everything is just packed into one folder. So if I double click this, this is the exact same profile, the Ableton MIDI controller profile, all contained inside of one folder. Now the reason for this is if I click on this, right click and say copy, I can paste this into any other profile I like and therefore have my Ableton MIDI controller pack inside of another profile. So let's say I'm going to build my own profile and I'll start with a blank one here. I can select any empty key, right click, paste. And now I have the entire Ableton Live MIDI controller profile inside of this new profile that I'm creating. It just saves you from having to hop out of one profile and back into another. You can just have it merge with any other profile that you want to work with. So that's it. You're all up and running. I encourage you to go and take a look at the orientation video that we put together that details all the features and functions and how you use them. The link will be in the description below. So as always, Thanks so much for downloading the program. We really appreciate you guys joining us on this journey and hopefully they make a difference in your daily workflow and help you to be more creative and more productive. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.